guys, my name is Crystal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome old subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please do press the like button and please do subscribe. Thank you all for your support. It is Saturday. Let's hope it's a nice, peaceful, happy weekend. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. This day in 1937 saw the opening of San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge. Wonder why the iconic bridge is red? When the steel arrived, it was coated in a red protective primer. The architects liked the look so much they stuck with it. Alexa, the celebrity birthdays. Today's famous birthdays include United States Secretary of State Henry Kissinger. Marjorie Taylor Greene, French-American actress, novel Lily Rose Depp, English film and stage actor Joseph Fiennes, and Brunette. Alexa, what is the date today? It's Saturday the 27th of May. Alexa, what is the time? It's 8.42 a.m. Alexa, what is the weather like? In Rochester. It's 12 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect partly sunny weather, with a high of 17 degrees and a low of 6 degrees. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? What's a vampire's favorite dog? A bloodhound. Right, it is Saturday morning. And on Saturday, Sunday, I don't do very much. I think, um, I don't know if it's this, the next weekend or the weekend after, if there is another like sweeps thing down Rochester High Street here in Rochester. So I, I don't know. This weekend, I'm just intending to rest, relax, uh, and just try and enjoy myself for a change. The weather on and off, the sun's out, but when it, the sun goes in, it's quite chilly. So it's not quite the height of summer yet, is it? No, because we're still in May. When it gets to June and July, yes, it, the, the, the sun will be quite hot for long periods of time, but at the moment, you don't know whether to wear shorts or trousers or, or, or you know, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So I've put leggings on this morning because when I take Max for a walk around the field, it gets quite chilly. Because every time, whenever you're near water like the seaside or the riverside, it can get chilly. I remember going to Ramsgate in the summer. And it was very chilly by the sea. It was. It was cold. Even in summer. So whenever you're near water, it can be cold and windy. Yesterday, I went to the co-op. I got myself some food. I got myself some cupcakes. I got myself some coconut crumbles. got myself some lovely wagon wheels. Wagon wheels, I love those. I got some treats for, for the cats and the dog. Um, yeah, these, these are Crimble's Six Caramel Macaroons. So I had a couple of those yesterday. They were quite nice. But when it gets to night time, I won't eat very much. So, because it says that you must not if you've, I've got heartburn and indigestion, um, um, since I've been going through the menopause, my um, digestive system has gone right downhill. So it says don't eat three hours before you go to bed. So I, I mean, I, I, I went to bed about nearly half past 11, 12 o'clock last night. So I stop eating before, um, after nine o'clock but I usually stop eating about after seven o'clock and I feel much better for it um, 
but um, these things happen and you can't stop them. As you get older, your digestive system seems to slow down. Well, mine has. And I can't eat large meals. I can't eat large meals. So I'm intending just to stay in my flat here in Rochester because you've got, my, got to remember that my mother Jennifer has got a next door neighbour with a dog called Sam. And when my mum used to go out of her front door, Sam used to bark. I live in Rochester and the whole street's got dogs. There's dogs everywhere, big dogs, small dogs, dogs everywhere. And there are some people, some people that are confused and think I'm my mother Jennifer. I don't know why, because I don't look like an old lady for a start. I don't look like an old woman. I don't act like an old woman. And my body is, that, is not that of an old lady. So, I'm just going to carry on doing what I do. That is go out. Walk my dog, take a few snapshots of the swans and the nature and the lovely beautiful flowers and the butterflies and just carry on. What everybody else does is their own business. But please don't involve me in it if it involves anything seedy and disgusting, please. If it, I just want to go for a walk. I, I want to enjoy my life. I want to be happy. I don't want people spoiling it, upsetting me, and enjoy and, and trying to get me involved in seedy doings. Um, by that I mean, you know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not a young woman, and I'm not an old woman. I'm in the middle, but I want to relax. I want to settle down. I want to have a steady life. I don't want to get drunk. I don't want to get involved in drugs. I don't want to get in marital disputes with other people. I just want to get on with my life. I've got enough problems of my own without getting involved in other people's. Now, I, I, I will help and I will listen, but please don't involve me in... in um, things that are going to make, make me upset and unhappy, okay? Life is short, I've said it often enough, it's very short. And I don't go around upsetting people. I like to make people feel better, I'll give them a compliment, I'll make them feel happy. I don't want to be a nasty, horrible person that goes around shouting like my father used to do. That's not me. And if you have to stamp on my feet, push me out the way, insult me, go ahead, but I'm going to try and keep calm-headed and carry on regardless. I'm not mad. I'm not crazy. I'm a vulnerable woman that has disabilities and you shouldn't take advantage of someone that is vulnerable for e -E voicemail you have two new messages and 13 saved messages first new message received yesterday at 3 57 p.m. Good afternoon, Janessa. It's me, your mum, Jennifer, speaking to you from my landline phone. To you, Janessa, can we use the... Your message will be saved for seven days. Next new message. Received yesterday at 8.36pm. Good evening, Janessa. It's my usual nighttime day telephone call to you, Janessa, from, my, from me, Jennifer, your mum. My... Speaking to you, Janestra. So I'm hesitating. I'm a bit tired. I'm just giving you, as I said earlier, a few moments ago, I'm just wishing you good luck, good night, good, well, God bless, and good evening. Bye for now. I'll give you a telephone call tomorrow. Bye. To return.
Yesterday, and my mum Jennifer called me yesterday. I believe at one ten in the morning, ten past one in the morning. Now we know that the police don't do anything. Right from the beginning that I moved here to Chatham to live with my parents at Victoria Road in two thousand and eight. I called the police on my father who was abusing me. I called the police on several men that were coming up to me and they were drunk and they were trying to get me back to their flat. Again, the police did nothing, right? I was a younger woman then and I wasn't getting any help. I'm a lot older now and it seems that some people want to still try and do what they did to me when I first came down in 2008 and when I was living at that flat at Lansdowne Court. It's not happening, right? I'm not a spectacle of humiliation. Um, I'm an adult, yes, but I am classed as vulnerable and I have disabilities. So that's what you're doing. You're taking advantage of someone that is vulnerable and has disabilities, okay? Um, I know the police won't do anything if I call them over anything. So I'm a woman, I'm 54, and I have to defend myself if there's a man that comes near me with unwanted attention, or they're attacking me or, or, or abusing me. I have to d deal with it myself. As you well know, a man came into this block of flats a few weeks ago, and he verbally abused me and called me a stupid bitch. Um, we also know that there's a bit of a sexual pervert about as well. Uh, I think they like me in my shorts or something. Um, I'm not interested. I'm an older woman. I'm, if I do get involved with somebody, I want a stable relationship. I've been involved with a drunk before and he was also involved in drugs. And it took me just over four years to get rid of this unstable unhealthy relationship he was just using me okay he was using me he was using me I don't, and i haven't got money it's my i told you that it's not derek left me nothing in his will nothing he didn't leave a will i i don't have money i live on disability benefit right well, it's, it's part of it is disability benefit that money is to make my life better it's not to help drug, drug addicts or drunks get their drink or their drugs okay that is but part of my benefit is disability benefit it is not to help drug addicts and drunks get drink and drugs neither is my flat open to giving drunks and drug addicts a home to live in these people need to go to Alcoholics Anonymous, they need to go to Frank for their drugs, which is help and support for drug addicts, um, and, and will people stop sending these people to me? Right? These people are incapable of understanding that I'm vulnerable, they're drunk, they're on drugs, they don't care. They just want to feed their habit. They don't care who they're abusing or who they're stealing from. They just want their drugs and their drink. And I am not having anything to do with alcohol or drugs. I know the police won't help me. That's a given. They do nothing. They turn up too late. They go to the wrong address. They come out to my address and they think it's funny. Some of them even laugh. I'm five foot five. I'm small and I'm a woman and I have to deal with anything that happens by myself because the police are absolutely useless. Useless. Now you understand why sometimes I appear unapproachable. Do you understand why I 
dodge away from people and don't speak to them now. The lady downstairs invites men into her flat and gives them a meal. Not me. I have never had a man in my flat. I didn't have a man in my flat yesterday, the day before, the year before that. The only people that come in are hide housing and people to service the boiler or to, to survey the flat. And even then I ask them for their ID. So, that is why I dodge away from people. I get approached by drunks, drug addicts, they're after money to support their drink habit or their drugs. I might appear soft, but I'm not stupid. And I went into the co-op yesterday. I went into the co-op and I got food. And I paid for it out of my benefit money. My mother's called again. Again. Have two new messages and 14 saved messages first new message received yesterday at 8 36 p.m. good evening to that's my usual not your message will be saved for seven days received today at 8 53 a.m. Good morning, Janice. It's me, your mum, Jennifer, speaking from my landline phone to you, Janestra, giving you the usual daytime telephone call, hoping you're well. If you need me or ever want to speak to me, I'm in all day as usual. And also, I hope to see you sometime next week. Can you let me know if you're all right? Okay, Janestra, bye for now. Take care and thinking of you, and I'll ring you later. Bye. Your message will be saved for seven days mum asking me if I'm all right and that I can call her if I need to. Why does everybody think that is? I do, but I'm not saying why, because that's my personal business. Right, anybody that approaches me with the intention of thinking I'm soft, stupid, a dummy, I'm going to give them money for drugs, drink, or they're going to use me. Um, you're wrong. You're wrong. I know no one's going to help me. I know anyone that, think, that thinks it's funny. They think it's funny. What, hap what happens? It's funny. They turn around, turn a blind eye, even talk to the abuser and say, say hello to them. Right? They did it with my father. I'm not prepared to go through that again, right? My mum spent 54 years married to my father, Derek, who committed domestic violence on her and mistreated me, right? I'm not taking someone on like that. No way. The reason these men get rejected by other women is because they're drunks, they're drug addicts and they can't look after themselves. I'm going to get on with the rest of my day and this is what, exactly what happened when my father took me on the holiday to the caravan parks in All Hallows and stable cottages. My mum would say, if your father gets up to anything, give me a call. No, I won't. I'll deal with things myself, as I should have done when my dad was alive. See you later.